uh, Nika. Okay, Nika the breeder. All right, um, dirt, dirt. Okay, Nika. Is it hard for you to know when your kids actually might be in danger? So I watched the video that you did and you had one of your, first of all, let's take it back to this. You had your son friend around your kids. Now, right off the bat, I don't even know why your son is around your kids. And I told you why he should be a labeled SO. Absolutely, he should be on some type of list, okay? Um, and Nika the Breeder, just to let you know, um, I found some very disturbing information um, about Taekwon. And I'm gonna get into that in another video, okay? But I'm here today because I wanna address uh, your son's friend. So again, like I said, we already know what type of uh, son you have. Absolutely, we do. And now you decided to introduce your son's friend around your children. Now, what gets me about this, Nika, is the fact that from my understanding, he lives in the neighborhood. I think the mom is dead. Something like that, you said, or whatever, to the fact. But he just came home from the pen, the prison, the jail, the whatever you want to call it. He was locked up. Now, my thing is this, is Nika, you don't know this man from here nor there. Okay? And you have him around your children. You literally are doing a live in your car and you have him in the back seat. He's leaning over towards the camera, y'all, looking like a complete sociopath. Absolutely, he did. You don't know nothing about this young man whatsoever. You don't know how his childhood may have went. You don't know nothing about his mother, his father, his aunts, uncles, grandparents, family situation, family whole entire pandemic and breakdown. You don't know nothing. And you got him around your daughters. Not, I mean, your sons as well. It doesn't mean just the daughters or whatever. If you're going to do something, you're going to do something. It don't even matter which sex it is a lot of times. But you have him around your children introducing him to YouTube. And in the first second that something happened, you'll be on here recording, crying, talking about, you know, you didn't know when um, you, oh, it would be a whole entire breakdown from you. Moving on. I watched another short where as though you said that your daughter fell asleep on the bus. All right, and hit her nose or whatever, and it was gashed open. Nika, I don't believe that whatsoever. Absolutely, I do not. Now, if your daughter did fall asleep on a bus, granted, I do understand children fall asleep on a bus a lot of times because when I was a child, yeah, I had the proper sleep, but sometimes you have the proper sleep and you just get sleepy on the bus. I mean, it is what it is. I do it as a grown person when, you know what I mean, I'm driving or somebody else is driving and I just get sleepy for no reason. I already know, Nika, that you don't make your children go to bed properly at the proper time so therefore they can get up, so therefore that they can learn. You don't even give them a proper breakfast so therefore their eyes can be open and their minds could be like a sponge soaking up all of the education and everything that they are hearing and seeing and doing. I already know you don't. We can look at you and tell that you don't. You don't even get your children clothes out at nighttime so therefore in the morning you won't be sending them out the door looking the way that they look but they're gonna look the way that they look anyway because you don't have no clothes for them because of the simple fact that you do what you want to do and make yourself look good with your hair make yourself look good with your nails make yourself the look clothes good that you buy um you don't care about your children your children are not priority shoes care what Fit with his black shoes, care with her outfit on, with her shirt, her shirt fits on her pants. 
Put that back down. Come here, Larcha. What y'all go to school to do? Why? Your hair need to be brushed. Look at I just told you to get me the brush. Look on the thing, have me the brush. All right, we're going to get your hair brushed up. Let me see you. All right, we're gonna, when y'all go with y'all daddy and when Kira go to surgery, y'all have to get y'all hair cut while y'all with him. I love y'all. Have a good day, okay? All right, let's get your face washed and stuff like that because y'all got, y'all ain't washing face right. And y'all got those. Look at this thing, overflow. Mommy said this is the last. You get up in the morning, you know how to brush your hair. You ain't fool. You want to do with this, um, your hair like this? Excuse me? I said no, ma'am. Hang it up, hang it up. I'm trying to rub the jacket. Go to school to that teacher. No laughing, playing, playing. Don't cut your butt. Look at me now. Look at me. I can't brush your hair with your head down. If you don't take a scissor and cut the front of it, like something wrong with you. What's wrong with you, boy? Get out of here. Love you. There you go. You only got like five minutes to pull up. I love. And from my understanding, Nika, and from what I've seen, they're not playing with you. That's why you keep running down you know to cps and things of that nature because you got a lot of uh things that's going on because if they knew for a fact that he was in that home around your children they would do immediate grounds to take your children immediate but see they don't know that but you know what that's being worked on as well i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna move on from that naya so Naya, I see you over there. You over there talking about you signing up for nursing school. Now Naya, what I'm not understanding is you are not going to be able to proceed. You are not going to be able to develop. You are not going to be able to flourish. You are not going to be able to do anything as long as you stay underneath your mother's roof and underneath her wing. Your mother's whole point is to control you. Your mother's whole entire point is to make sure that you are giving her all of your money. I can guarantee you that, yeah, you already are piss poor. You're living in poverty, so you're definitely going to get financial aid, Pell Grant, and you are definitely going to get refund checks. You are going to get refund checks. And when you get those refund checks, Naya, what do you think is going to happen? Your mother, Nika the Breeder, she's going to have her hand out begging for money because that's what she does. All right. She knows how to break you down. She knows that basically you have low self-esteem. She knows that you um, have a type of mind frame that you have to help your mother because she has all these kids and they don't have a father that does for them so you want to pitch in and be the man instead of learning how to be the sister and do what you need to do as a sister and not financially support her nika knows exactly what she's doing to you nika is a user moving on nika i heard you say that you got on here and you said you didn't have no money and you called mama for some pampers. What are you calling mama for some pampers for? Did mama lay down with you and have that baby? No, mama didn't lay down with you. Don't you think that mama didn't did enough? Don't you think when your children were ripped away from you? Don't you think when your daughter was ripped away from you right when you had her that she did enough by keeping her and taking care of her? and raising her to the best of her ability as for to have to give her back to you now the little girl looks exactly like a little baby kid hair nappy hair knotted bald spots dirty look like she stink hungry all the time your other daughter over there the one that got the uh, heart um surgery she round here with her belly poking out now protruding because you know why, Nika? That's a sign of malnourishment. Mm -hmm. Your children's eyes be popping out their head inside. You <laughs> God. <laughs> Some of your children's eyes popping out their head. A sign of malnourishment. Uh-huh. They starting to look like them little kids of Africa and stuff with the flies to be all over their head and all the other different countries or whatever, but the flies be all over their face and eyeballs and stuff, and they don't blink. They act like the fly ain't even on them. That's how your kids look at times. Mm-hmm. I feel sorry for them kids. They look unkept. 
They look like they don't even brush their teeth. They don't wash their face. They don't take a bath. None of that. You just get them up. You don't give them a bowl of cereal, a bowl of oatmeal, a bowl of nothing. You just send them right to school so they can get free lunch. You go right back in there and lay on that bed and go right to sleep on that pissy bed. That's exactly what you do. Because I can tell you right now, that bed is absolutely pissed out. Because I already know you ain't got no bed cover. Mm-mm. You're not that smart to um, even think of, oh, um, I piss in the bed and so do my kids. Let me go ahead and get a bed cover. Mm-mm, you don't. And I know you piss in the bed, Nika. You look like you piss in the bed. You, we already know that you don't take showers. We already know that. And then we looked at the shower. The shower is broken, Nika. Okay. I mean, y'all tear up anything. The shower broken. The faucet in the kitchen is broken. You ain't even got that fixed. Like, girl, your life is piss poor. I swear. That was me. I would be working all different types of jobs. I'd be putting out a hundred videos a day. But no, nah, not you. Mm -mm. Your main point is to come up on here and beg with a notebook talking about these are your bills. We don't care about what bills that you got to pay on a notebook. You a grown woman. Why are you coming up on here and telling us about your bills? I would never get up on here and tell y'all about my bills. You need to get yourself together because you are one trifling mother. You are absolutely trifling. I'm, I, it ain't no other way to put it. You say, well, um, some of the reactors say something nice about me. Say something nice about you. Let me think what I could say nice about you. I'm thinking hard, y'all. I'm thinking hard. I, I can't. You can't even sing. I mean... <laughs> Nika, I ain't messing with you today. I am not messing with you, Nika. But what I am going to tell you is, like I said, I found some information out about Taekwon. And, and again, I was disgusted. Okay? Completely disgusted. All right. And like I said, I will be putting out a video and I will be getting all over you about it. Okay? All over you about it. Because, Nika, remember, you kept calling me. All right. So now that you've kept calling me, now I am out and I am in full effect. Okay, bitches? Uh, I'm going to see you on the next video. Later.